All right, what is going on, everyone? I am Soldier, and uh, or should I say, Mr. Soldier? What's up, folks? Here he is. We got some Black Ops 2 gameplay here on your favorite map, Raid, because everybody likes this map. Everybody, it's, and it's a good map. Uh, this is actually some really old gameplay I have here, and man, guys, you know, I have a lot of shit, of, tons of old gameplay. I don't even think I need to play Black Ops 2 anymore until the next Call of Duty to show you guys some good gameplay. But I still play it once in a while. I uh, like playing with uh, some of you guys. Uh, I mentioned a lot of times on Twitter, A, hey, I'm going up on Black Ops 2, I'm jumping up on Modern Warfare 3, or, or either it, it can be on Xbox or PS3. Uh, it won't really matter. I got both games on both systems and uh i really like playing with some of you guys so um if you guys are not following me up on twitter make sure you do and uh we'll get into some uh some party ups some parties some game parties so anyways uh going back to the last video uh, guys i i watch a lot of you guys comments and uh you know what really makes me happy is the fact that most of you guys understood my message because you know uh that video and look at that this guy really make me scared but he's one of my teammates why was shooting i was just i don't know just panic shooting you know you know when you say panic knife well that's that time was a panic shooting uh so that video was really not because I, I wanted people to uh, feel sorry for me or anything like that. I, I thought about uh, a lot of times what should I, you know, if I should spray uh, that piece of story in my life. Because it, it is, it was kind of deep, kind of personal. But I think it's really important that uh, from someone that has life experience, it, it's really important that I could share that to some of you guys. Because some of you guys told me, oh man, you know, shit, I thought I was going to through some really hard stuff but now that I'm I know like I'm seeing uh, what you went through shit you know uh, my my things are actually not not that uh, that bad you know but uh, listen we all have our problems uh, I mean I, I'm not I don't want to say that mine was worse or was not worse than uh, what kind of problems you guys are going through but it's just an example you know just telling you guys look man we all have our problems and we all have to deal with it, uh, one or not. And um, one really good thing I always uh, like to uh, to hear. Uh, one time I heard this thing, and it was uh, saying that what doesn't kill you makes you only stronger. And it, in fact, it is really true. And uh, I remember when I was going through some hard stuff, I remember someone uh, said that, and. Um, I, I kind of, you know, I kind of realized that you know what, you're damn right, man. I mean like my mom passed away but it's not because uh she passed away that uh, that's it you know I i'm done and you know some people are more weaker than others and i don't mean that to be any uh to be any mean or something like that but you know there's there's people that are stronger than others you know some people will just fall into the uh, into big drugs you know they will start i don't know you know like they, they will start going into uh, a, a cocaine heroin whatever you know those really strong drugs because they feel so so lost and and so alone that they're like you know what there's nothing left so uh, whatever i i don't even care anymore of what's going on i i kind of felt that for for a for a, a period of time but not too long and you know like i said i had a couple of my good friends helping me out and supporting me especially mentally and uh, I did go really well through uh, through the stuff, and uh, like I said today, I'm a very happy man. And all I wanted to do with that video was just spray the message and explain to you guys, man, you guys just have to be strong. And like I said, life it's not always a gift. Life it's a fight. It's a it's a fight. That's what it is. You have to fight. You got some people got you know a lot of uh, family members to help them out this and that, but other people don't have. And uh, you know you have to be. Uh, more concern in what you should do to yourself and not you know not try to count too much on others you know because some people really depend on others and you shouldn't really think about that you know just be be more uh, focused on what you should do and uh, how to focus in life you know that's barely it that's barely the message and look at that now we're going here on this gameplay I, I mean I didn't even spoke about any of the gameplay but anyways I just want to say thanks to all of you guys feedback to really appreciate it as well 
as always, should I say. And uh, here I am here playing with the PDW. And you know what, guys? Hey, how to bring back the PDW like it was? And, like, I, I played with the other day, and man, you know, the, with all these patches, updates, they fucked up the PDW. The PDW is like, it, it's a... Uh, how, how, how was I saying that? It's a uh, hit marker free! And a lot of shit of recoil. But I kind of start playing up with the attachments and setups, and I finally got this one, and maybe you guys could... Um, uh, could try it out to see if it works for you. I put now I, and, and it's not on this game because this game is a kind of old gameplay and the PDW here is working really good But what I do now is I put grip in uh, You know silencer, but the main key is really grip. So whatever you want to put there if you want to put uh, uh, You know long barrel or rapid fire whatever make sure you put grip the grip really makes the difference to the PDW today uh, I noticed it. it's uh, it's a less lot of recoil and even on the hit markers it seems like it's a little bit less maybe because of you know less recoil but anyways check that out try it out let me know until next time I'm soldier and hope you enjoy the gameplay here and I'm out peace